Hello everybody, dinky do. it's me, Scotty McClue, the world's top broadcaster, and it's Easter Sunday, Sunday the 16th of April 2017. A very, very warm welcome to my Periscope broadcast this morning, and I'm going to give you an Easter message, because I think it's very important. For those of you who are big believers in religion, then of course you will have your own ideas exactly what Easter means to you and to those of a similar view to yourself and a similar belief as yourself. And I think there's room for everyone in the world and to all the world's great religions, I say bless every single one of you. Remember religion has never caused a problem in the world. All that causes the problem is a lack of knowledge and understanding. For the Christian, this is the day when Jesus rose again. He is risen and dwells among us in his risen power. This was the day when Jesus walked in the garden, having risen from the tomb, and Mary was looking for him. She'd been to the tomb and the stone was rolled away, and Christ's body was gone, and the clothes that he had been in, the wrappings that he had been wrapped in, were there lying on a rock ledge. And she saw a man who she thought was the gardener, and she said, Where is my Lord? Where have you taken him? And the gardener looked at her and he said, Mary. And she looked up and she recognized him and she said, Rabboni, which means teacher. And that was Christ having risen again. And of course, the disciples ran to spread the message, to spread the good news that Jesus had risen again after his terrible, terrible crucifixion and very, very painful death. And, uh, of course, what was very interesting about this, you also brought out Doubting Thomas. And we've always met Doubting Thomases, even to this day. The man that didn't believe it was Jesus, and Jesus said, Put your holes in the holes in my side. Put your hands in the holes in the holes in my side. And see where the nails were when I was nailed to a cross. And I was on a bus one day, and an old lady got on, or an elderly lady, a lady, a senior citizen, a lady who had been on the earth for some time. And um, she said to the driver, how much to the cross? And I thought, you know, that's a very, very interesting question. How much to the cross? What is the actual cost of going to the cross? Very interesting. So there you are. Have a think about that. But also, for those people who are not of any great religious belief at all, let's go back to the pagan days, to the early days, to the old festival to um, the, uh, the Esther, the egg, the goddess Esther, the goddess of fertility, signifying the new life. And I was walking the dog late last night, and I saw two little fox cubs playing. And I thought they were very symbolic of the new life. And if you look all around you, you will hear bird song in the morning, and the birds flying and fluttering as they build their nests to lay their eggs to create the new life. If you look at the trees, you will see that they are in bud and the leaves are out, they are in leaf, and that creates the new life. And I've always had a thought that uh, Easter should signify New Year. New Year that we celebrate on the 1st of January should actually be celebrated now at Easter time. And of course, I got laughed at for that. And um, I don't mind that. I don't mind being laughed at, although I did give up stand-up comedy because people were laughing at me all the time. But um, I thought to myself, no, very, very interesting. And then I looked into it and found out that I was quite right. Surprise, surprise, New Year had been at Easter time and had moved to become part of the winter festival along with the Yule, the Christmas tide, the winter festival. So there we are, very interesting bit there for you. But of course, let me take you on another journey, a creative journey. Now, you will notice that the news bulletins are laden with gloom and doom at the moment. There are people letting missiles off willy-nilly, indiscriminately. There are people firing missiles. There are people firing missiles back. And if you look at it, one of the most lucrative trades in the world is the armaments trade, turning an engineering company that could be building all sorts of wonderful things into building armaments and weaponry so that they can be sold 
to various powers throughout the world so that they can give each other a good doing. And I'm actually going to take you on another journey. Let's say that we were highly intelligent and we'd all learned the lessons of the past. We'd read our history books. We'd read of the carnage in all the wars and the crusades, in the First World War and the civil wars, all that sort of thing. We'd read of death and destruction and injury and life being made very, very unpleasant for millions and millions of people by various people down the ages. So let me take you on another trip. Imagine on top of the truck where these missiles are that there was a jazz band giving it da -da 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 -de 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 fantastic and there were trombones and trumpets and clarinets and 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 flutes and euphonium and uh, tubas and fiddles and cellos and all these things bit of percussion of course the timps there the drums uh, the tin whistles the triangles all that sort of stuff giving it loudly on a festive float bringing joy and hope to people let's imagine if these soldiers parading with guns these were actually violins and saxophones and flutes and trumpets and trombones and coronets and what have you and harps and all these wonderful things and let's imagine that all the world's leaders were highly intelligent and got round the big table the round table a bit like king arthur's round table for the knights of the round table so that nobody had any more importance than anyone else and everyone was singing from the same song sheet and they decided to spend all the defense budgets in the world on festivals on opera on song, on making people well, on uh, uh, choirs, building choirs, on piano concertos, on symphony orchestras, working out some of the great works on Messiah for All, Israel in Egypt, the St. Nicholas, all that sort of thing, the dream of Garantius. How marvellous would that be? And money spent on restoring the pipe organ and people rehearsing. And you turn all your military bases into rehearsal space. And then, if you're looking for conflict, and believe me, you will find it, who's got the best opera? Who sings the finest song? Who's got the most beautiful choirs? Who does the best harmonies? Who can play the most magnificently? Which country in the world is turning out the top pianists all that sort of thing now that's just a thought but it could be done would that not be better for us as i send you an easter message of peace and love and hope would that not be better for us so there we are right i'm going to push off now you can also find my easter message on facebook live and I shall be broadcasting live on Facebook Live with the World's Top Talk Show with me, Scotty McClue, the World's Top Broadcaster, at 10 o'clock sharp tonight, 2200 hours, British summer time, on the 24-hour clock, because we do broadcast from the United Kingdom. And, of course, maybe 5 o'clock in America, so you'll need to work out the times. But make sure you're on Scotty McClue's Facebook page, for Facebook Live at 10 o'clock sharp tonight. And I know you're probably fed up to the back teeth with Scotty McClure saying, go fund me, go fund me, go fund me. I could have done it another way. I could ask for shares to build a new independent media and to improve the equipment that I have for broadcasting. But, and I would be absolutely overwhelmed with shareholders and people very eager to give me lots and lots of money, because Scotty McClure is very highly trusted after 40 years in the entertainment industry. But I have to say, very important, and Scotty McClure's Silver Jubilee, Scotty McClure is 25 years old. The big radio shows this year in June isn't that amazing in a few weeks' time. Now, the reason I've chosen to do it this way, yes, it's slower, but it means it spreads a risk for you. You can manage to lose a couple of pounds, you manage to lose a fiver, you manage to give Scotty McClure a fiver. So gofundme.com forward slash Scotty hyphen McClure or PayPal, you will see the links there, Scotty McClure 
pop something in and let's hear from you in that direction as well. Don't pass by on the other side. Actually do it because it's going to be beneficial to you. Right, that's it. So I'll see you all 10 o'clock sharp tonight. Have a very, very happy Easter. Enjoy the rest of your Easter Sunday. I hope there's something half decent on the telly for you. Although what we're doing right now, this is the new television. This is Scotty McClure saying to all of you, Happy Easter and dinky-doo! Scotty McClure has left the building.